Um, so at this point, I think story share, uh, let's have, hear some stories from our researchers we've worked with. Uh, we have um, Jenna Cara, um, who is working on a, uh, do a study about doulas in San Francisco. Um, and then next uh, we'll have uh, Liza Wexford uh, to talk a little bit about her work um, around the GM auto workers study. All right, hi everybody, are you ready for me? Um, so, hi everyone. I have to apologize first um, that I'm not coming on camera today. I am sick and it is just not in the cards to be on camera today. Um, I've also spent a very large amount of time on Zoom the past couple of days. Um, so I'm going to try to kind of like, you know, have have energy and be entertaining and I don't have slides and be informal because I think we're all probably kind of tired of of some of these things. Um, so um, I'm Janet Arcara. I am a postdoc researcher with the Sexual Health and Reproductive Equity Program, so the SHARE program at the School of Social Welfare. So when you saw on um, Jolene's, I think it was Jolene's slides, um, where it said a new Gomez working on SF doula study. Um, that's my PI, so I work for a new, um, and I've been really like our main person working with Jolene and everybody um, to get the, the the VM and everything sort of organized and up and running and, and everything. Um, so in general, I do a variety of research. It's mostly quantitative at this point, some qualitative, um, and it's on contracep contraception, abortion, maternal health, um, kind of and anything related to that aspect of life um, and related to inequities, especially um, structural inequities. So um, as part of that, for the past several years, the SHARE program has been working on a process and outcome evaluation of the Sister Web Community Doula Program in San Francisco. So if you're not familiar with doulas, um, they provide non-clinical birth support for people during pregnancy, um, during labor and delivery, and then also during the postpartum time. So there are a, a number of different kinds of doulas. Usually they're people think of private doulas where somebody, you sort of pay them outside of ins your insurance coverage. Um, community doulas, which are what the sister web doulas are, um, they also provide a lot more support to people. So they're from the community. So they usually have sort of um, racial and ethnic concordance with um, the person, the birthing person and their family. Um, and they're hopefully going to know a lot more about what that person is kind of coming from and their experiences. Um, so sister web in particular focuses on Black, Latina, and um, Pacific Islander women in San Francisco. So very much focused kind of on the Southeast corner of the city um, for, for a big part. So community doulas especially provide um, a lot of emotional support to help people feel more comfortable um, during pregnancy and during delivery and to like navigate the medical system. So they're not providing medical care recommendations and they, they shouldn't be, um, but they're kind of there as an extra support person. Um, and a lot of times, you know, if, if a birthing person doesn't have family support or a partner, sometimes the doula is the only person in the delivery room with the, the person who's giving birth, who's, who's not a doctor or a nurse or something. They're really kind of the only person there, like getting them ice chips and, you know, massaging their back while they're having contractions that kind of thing. Um, so they do a lot of different kinds of work kind of around that. Um, and the, the big thing to know about doulas is that they're very much seen as a way to hopefully reduce the inequitable maternal mortality rates um, for black and brown women in the US. Obviously not the only way, um, but a piece of, of that puzzle. Um, generally, we see that women who have doulas at delivery um, do have better birth outcomes, both often in terms of some of the clinical outcomes, but also definitely in terms of like their experiences and how they rate their experiences and how they felt about their birth. Um, and, you know, that's that's a big thing. That's really important. 
Um, so one part of our evaluation of SisterWeb's program is to look at birth outcomes among SisterWeb clients and compare them to birth outcomes among women who did not have a SisterWeb doula in San Francisco. And I won't get into the like nitty gritty of like the analysis strategy for this um, because it's like super fun and in the weeds. Um, but in order to do that, the thing that's important here is that we need a couple of pieces of data. So we need the birth outcome data from sister web clients. We have that, or, you know, sister web has that, and it's in the agreement that, you know, they'll be sharing that. And then we need birth outcome data from the non-clients. So we can get that information from the state of California's vital statistics data. So for those of you who aren't in health, vital statistics data is birth and death data that the state collects. Um, so from birth certificates and death certificates um, that's used for a variety of things. So it's used for like tracking the health of Californians, planning health and social welfare programs, all kinds of things. Um, and in theory, all births in the state of California and births to Californians who give birth outside of the state of California, but who are residents of California are um, recorded in the vital stats data. So as you can imagine, this data is highly restricted because it's literally people's birth certificates. So there's like the mom and the baby's information um, and some information about the partner or the father or the, you know, sort of second partner. Um, and there is identifiable information. Um, a lot of times though, when you can get this data, most of the clearly identifiable data is removed. However, it's almost always going to be possible to use, to, to have sort of deductive disclosure where even with all of, with the name, with social security numbers, all those things removed, um, it's often gonna be possible to figure out who somebody is from the circumstances around a delivery, especially in San Francisco where